Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know I'm All City with AllCityLiveTV.com, and thank you for tuning in. Hey, listen, man, do you guys think that 2K saved the game with this most recent patch? Somebody revive 2K, hashtag revive 2K. I think there's just a disconnect that shows how big the disconnect is between the devs and the community. Why is it that in the patch notes, we only had one line for gameplay? when gameplay and the mechanics of gameplay are the biggest issues that 2K has going on right now. Someone reminded me in yesterday's video on the comment section, they reminded me that we gotta remember that 2K has multiple game modes and it's not just about Park, Rec, or Pro-Am. And I get that, I, you know, I appreciate that reminder. But um, I gotta tell you, man, the Park, Rec, and Pro-Am game modes have a ton of issues so much so that a huge portion of the community has jumped ship and gone over to 2k20 it's like come on man 2k is no way it's just a slap in the face for you to release a bunch of patch notes the patch was really small so you know like bruce said i was watching bruce video it's like hey you couldn't expect much when this was supposed to be the patch that we were we were like anticipating the most like the biggest amount of changes so almost so that we were hoping for like a new game i know a lot of us had our fingers crossed like hoping for a new game i gotta say that the game is not as bad as it was to me in the beginning of the year it's not nearly as bad but man where is the fun factor can somebody help revive 2k i gotta tell you somebody need to speak up and say this can somebody revive 2k can somebody help 2k some can somebody holla at mike wang like homie you disconnected bro like get back into the gameplay make gameplay fun it is not fun when you have a good amount of interior defense and it is not i'm not speaking on my part i'm just speaking on some of the things that i saw yesterday where we got like hall of fame defensive badges in the paint and man the homies on the opposing team just come and lay the ball up consistently right in our grill it's not fun when you create a perimeter defender and you're super dominant when you at a low overall and you don't have nearly as many badges. But as you start accumulating badges and increasing your attributes, your player gets less animations. This is not fun for anybody. So what is it that you expect? I wish there was like an expectation list something that says hey listen this is what we expect out of you we expect an extra 300 dollars out of you and then you'll play at an elite level all of the time because man i gotta tell you man it just feels like with each patch and um with each growing day like as you're like upgrading your build and you're progressing you're supposed to get better but for some reason your player just functions a lot worse than you did in the beginning when you first brought your player out it just seems to be too consistent that now it's seeming slimy it just seems slimy because we play the game every single day we know what the game is about we know when it's functioning properly and as of right now it's just not functioning properly the homies that play park out there shout out to y'all man i know for me it's been hella difficult playing park this year i'm hoping to get back into park you guys could catch me on live stream playing park we're gonna be doing it this weekend for puma mania i'm looking forward i may start like i may start today getting getting in the park and seeing what it's about with this new patch because i was watching again i was watching bruce video and he was telling me that fades have been patched and like i said in a previous video it's like if they patch fades then it's gonna feel like there's an increase to defense that's just how it's going to feel um Fades were so OP in the park that it made playing defense that much more difficult. And 2K21 on next gen definitely lacks defensive mechanics. And it doesn't have to do with zero interior defense. Get that out your mind. Get it out your head because you get a ton of contests uh, out there. You do get a ton of contests, a ton of chase down blocks, a ton of snatch blocks. I got it all recorded for you guys. It's, it's all been recorded and put in clips. 
where multiple back-to-back -back snatch blocks. So leave it alone. Stop telling me about interior defense being on zero. That has nothing to do with it. We're talking about just the general mechanics of 2K and how they approach defense for 2K21 on next gen. And it's not all there. And I think, I think a huge portion of the community, a lot of you guys would probably agree with me that defense is not there this is not a, like a secret so it's unfortunate that uh that we had to experience this but hey it is what it is like bruce said hey we probably got a buff to defense but it's not necessarily an active effort on the devs part to buff defense per se it's just that they minimized offense so it feels like defense has gotten a buff or maybe they did. And listen, Mike Wang says something along the lines that uh, if if the fades adjustment that they made with this patch is not suitable for the community, he'll be able to adjust this some more. If you were able to adjust it in the first place, why did we have to wait so long for the first initial adjustment to fades? Did you not hear the community in an uproar? Did you not see your numbers tremendously drop? When you got huge content creators just dipping off to 2K20, not 2K21 current gen, they're dipping off to 2K20. Somebody knock on the door. Somebody, man, somebody let 2K in on what's going on. Shoot, I am ready to go on over to 2K20 and see what it's about, see what all the hype is about. I'm a legend on 2K20. It would only be good for us there's a ton of you guys out there let me know in the comment section if you guys really want me to get on over to 2k20 and I'll, I'll make a day to get on over there and see what it's about and pull out the legend account out there and see what what's going on in 2k20 probably everybody's a legend on 2k20 but from what i understand the parks are lit we know puma mania is gonna go crazy this weekend i'm looking forward to getting on puma mania and seeing what this patch is really about in the park We've been playing a lot of rec because rec, it just seems like rec hat has more of like a basketball real, like at least it's more of a simulation. You feel, it feels like a simulation than this arcadey weirdness that's going on. Again, I got to mention, there's so much wrong with the gameplay, right? We understand that. And although I can't say I my views are not nearly as harsh as they was about 2K21 on next gen as they were in the beginning of the year. But I gotta say, it's like, these canned animations are so insanely like i don't know that over it's just saturating your gameplay i don't know how else to phrase it it just seems like everything is just a canned animation and ironically 2k touch base on this saying that you know what they were going to be a limited they were going to be way more limited canned animations meaning that they're not going to take control over your player but this year more than ever i see canned animations just taking over almost every single play if you're not going into a charge you're going into a body up animation into a contact dunk animation everything seems canned when are you actually controlling your player and when do you feel like your player is actually responsive to the you know the inputs that you're putting in on your controller help me understand y'all let me know if you guys are experiencing something like that as well the zion williamson screen why is this still an issue how lackluster they made the game why it's a mediocre type of game um and we're supposed to be on next gen we're supposed to be experiencing uh next generation gaming right now and unfortunately waiting so long on a zion williamson screen that still has yet to be even addressed as if it's not an issue at all like who like who doesn't know the zion williamson screen to be an issue let me know in the comment section what you think about that because it's it's just silly to me how the community and the content creators really uplift this game really uplift this experience that we're having on 2k20 and i'm not chalking it up to myself i'm talking about larger content creators um they really bring spirit to the game because if we left it in 2k's hands they wouldn't give us like a resolution for any of the problems that we experience in 2K, let alone even know any of the problems that are going on in 2K. Um, 
you know, the Zion Williamson screen needed to be fixed. It needed to be addressed. Why is it that we as the consumer have to kind of delete the app and reinstall the app just for the Zion Williamson screen to continue acting up a week later? And you got to wait another five, 10 minutes just to load up your game on a next gen console. This is unheard of. Does Sony know about this? Can somebody holler at Sony and let them know that this this is just unheard of and unacceptable? Can somebody holler at them and let them know that? Can we get somebody to holler at Sony and tell them, hey, this is just completely unacceptable? How do you have that happen? Imagine you. I don't know. Imagine it took 10 minutes for your phone. What would happen if it took 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes for your phone to turn on? How many of y'all would complain and jump ship if it took five to 10 minutes for your actual cell phone, your mobile phone to turn on? Help me understand that. What would you do if your phone took 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes to turn on? You probably leave, you probably throw the joint out right then and there. Ain't nobody waiting five to 10 in this generation. Nobody is waiting five to 10 minutes for nothing. They won't even wait five to 10 minutes for this video to end. It's just nobody waits that long for anything. And then to experience a bunch of fluff, you know, you know, it's like uh, it's just not not a good feeling, not a good look. So, you know, the verdict on, on this last patch from 2K, it doesn't seem it, it just didn't. It feels very similar. People continually came into the stream yesterday asking, you know, how does the patch feel? Did they fix it? Did they do anything? Is it noticeable? All right, is anything noticeable? Nothing for me has been extremely noticeable. Gameplay seems very similar still a bunch of goofiness out there and fun times just like far and few in between all of this goofiness there's very little fun far and few in between at least that's what i've been experiencing the last few days because obviously 2k was messing with something that changed the game everyone started missing shots wide open defense seemed interrupted the interceptor badge doesn't seem as aggressive as i was just two weeks ago it just doesn't feel as aggressive as it was just a little while ago so you know, they obviously making changes to the game and it just feels a little different and it's not for the good. So I haven't I the last few days I haven't been having nearly as much fun, but we have been in the rec center and just oh my god, the AI can somebody talk to 2K about that as well? The AIs are out there. It's just like, oh my god, how does this happen? How do you allow one person to stay in the game for three quarters, four quarters? The whole team quits when they see us get on the court in the first quarter, and then we're stuck playing against uh, four AIs and one player that is probably like the first time that he got his hands on the ball So he's just happy to touch the rock. So he stays in <laughs> all three or four quarters trying to score And then we get stuck in between leaving him in the game so we can get the rep or Getting him out super quick so that we could just start a new game and get get a full team this shouldn't be the challenges that we're facing as gamers out there. It's just, it's, I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way. So my verdict, again, my verdict on 2K21 is not necessarily good after the patch. Today, we're going to be on live streaming, live streaming the park to see what the park is looking like out there. I would love to start playing park again, and I hope you guys could come out and join me. I hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative. And if you did, please consider dropping a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as we're going to have a ton of next gen content coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all.